you know, people uh, think there's going to, a lot of people think there's going to be a one world currency system, that there's going to be this uh, single currency system. And I, I just don't think that that is even possible. In order for a government to have the autonomy to be able to wage war, they have to be able to confiscate the wealth of their own population. And they do that by lighting up the printing presses and just stomping on the throttle and running at full speed. They dilute the currency supply and uh, print us into big inflations or hyperinflations, and that transfers the wealth from the population to the government so they can outspend their opponent and win the war. If we go to a one world currency, it's just like trying, it's, it's like the euro. The euro was doomed because you had all these countries trying to share one central bank, but they're setting their own monetary policy and they're allowed to do their own deficit spending. It can't work, it won't work, it's going to fall apart. A one world currency, uh, you know, takes away the ability, if the U.S. wanted to fight a war with China, we would not be able to. We would not be able to win that war. Uh, when there's a new monetary system, the world, the, the U.S. dollar will probably not be the world reserve currency. And if the public can get educated quick enough, if, the, if enough of us uh, will not accept the, they're going to try the, to pull the maximum scam on us that they can again and cheat gold as much as possible. But we're probably going back, in my opinion, to some sort of asset-backed currency. And with every currency failure throughout history, Time after time, without exception, the free market chooses gold and silver as money. And I believe that that's going to happen again, that governments are going to get together. They're going to try and back the fewest number of units of their currency with gold and silver, and we'll still have national currencies which are stupid, and they limit our freedom. When, when you fly from country to country, I've got a briefcase full of uh, different currencies from around the world, and if you're carrying Egyptian pounds and you go to Colombia, if you don't exchange them for pesos in Colombia, when you step past just one foot past that currency window, that currency in your pocket goes to zero. National currencies limit our freedom. Gold does not. It doesn't matter uh, what language is on it, what image is on that coin, it'll buy the same amount uh, on the other side of the world as it does here. Uh, gold represents freedom and independence. Governments will try to cheat gold, is, they're, they're going to go back to something that's coupled to gold. But if we can all educate each other quick enough, perhaps they won't be able to pull a scam on us again and start this whole stupid cycle over again.